Learn and play online. Let's learn about place value. The topic of this video is place value. But what is place value? Let's think about the word separately. When we are talking about numbers, the word place means a particular position or location. So to help us understand the concept, we need to look at where the digit has been placed. When we think about the word value, we are thinking about what it is worth. This will all make sense as we give examples later in the video. To help us learn about place value, we will be using these little blocks. We can call them ones or units. Let's count the ones as they appear. One, two, three, four, five. So how many ones do we have? Five. We call this a one digit number because there is only one digit. Let's continue counting the ones as they appear. Six, seven, eight, nine. The number nine is still a one digit number because there is only one digit. But look what happens when we add another ones block to the group. We now have 10 ones. The number 10 is a two digit number as it is made up of two digits, one and zero. Now we could keep counting forever, but there is a much faster and easier way to count large amounts of ones blocks together. If we took all of these ones here and made them a group of 10, this is what it would look like. So every time you see this, you know that it is a group of 10 ones put together. That means we can count by tens every time we see the tens block. This now means we need to extend our table to include a tens column. Because now we have one group of 10 and no ones blocks left which is why the digit zero is in the ones column. Let's try counting a different set of blocks. Let's count the tens blocks first. As you can see, we have two tens blocks. So let's record that information in our table. As for our ones, we have four ones blocks to record in our table. So in total, we have 24 blocks. We can double check by counting them. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Let's now look at the place value of the digit 2 in the number 24. Its place is in the tens column, which means it has a value of 20. Now let's have a look at the digit 4 in the number 24. Its place is in the ones column. And this means its value is just four. So when you add 20 and four together, you will have a total of 24. Let's take a look at the next one. In this group of blocks, we have five tens blocks to record in our table. As for the ones blocks, we have 
only seven. So let's record this in our table. So in total, we have 57 blocks. Let's double check that by counting them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. Let's now look at the digit 5 in the number 57. Where has it been placed? It has been placed in the 10th column. So that means it has a value of 50. Now let's look at the digit 7 in the number 57. Where has it been placed? It has been placed in the 1's column. So that means it has a value of just 7. So when you add 50 and 7 together, you will have a total of 57. Let's try the next one. Let's first count and see how many tens blocks we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in total, we have 10 tens blocks. Let's now count by tens 10 times so we can find out how many blocks there are altogether. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we now know we have 100 blocks altogether. The number 100 is a three digit number. It is made up of three digits, one, zero and zero. There is an easier and faster way to count large numbers. Just like before, we are going to combine all of these 10 blocks together. This makes it easier for us to count larger numbers because now we know that when we see this big block, we know that it is made up of 100 ones blocks. This means that we can count by 100. This does also mean that we have to extend our table to include a hundreds column. Let's now record information in our table. We only have one hundreds block. Since we have no tens blocks, we are going to record the digit zero in our table. This is also going to be the same for our ones blocks. Let's now look at the place value of each of the digits. The digit one is placed in the hundreds column which means it is worth 100. This digit zero is placed in the tens column and it has a value of zero since there are no tens blocks. That's the same for this digit zero. Even though it is placed in the ones column, it has a value of zero because there are no ones blocks. So when you add 100 with 0 and 0, you will get 100. Let's do one final example. In this group, we have 3 of the hundreds blocks. So let's record that in our table. We also have 5 of the tens blocks. So let's record that in our table. And finally, we have six of the ones blocks. So let's record that information. So in total, we have 356 blocks altogether. Let's double check by counting. 10, 100, 200, 300, 310, 
320, 330, 340, 350, 351, 352, 353, 354, 355, 356. Now let's have a look at the place value of each of the digits. The digit 3 has been placed in the hundreds column, which means it has a value of 300. The digit 5 has been placed in the tens column, which means it has a value of 50. The digit 6 has been placed in the ones column, which means its value is just 6. So when you have 300 plus 50 plus 6, you have a total of 356. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.